I found a deck today. Welcome Awaken Intuitives. Welcome back. Welcome to any new Awaken Intuitives. Um, this was definitely unexpected. So I had to come and share this story with you guys. So today I went and to my son's last soccer game of the season. And um, it was kind of chilly. Um, it was really good game. We all had super good time. It was fun. Anyway, so after that, we were really hungry. So we went to uh, town to this little old burger joint. Nobody was there. And we were so shocked because it's Saturday and it was like lunchtime. And we're like, this is so perfect. And so we go in there and we sit down and um, I look over at the glass case because I've seen Oracle and tarot cards in there before. Last time I was there, there was only about four boxes. And I'm like, I probably won't get any because I've seen them. I look over and there's about 50. <laughs> there was about 50 of them. I'm like, oh, crap, crap. I got to go look at them. So I went over there. I'm like, I'm going to go look around for a little bit. And I'm looking at all of them. I'm like, a bunch of them seem pretty dang cool. And the owner comes over such a sweet guy and he's like you looking at a bunch of those i'm like yeah i do tarot and oracle and he's like yeah and he's like hold on a second he goes over and he grabs like three boxes that are oracle deck boxes so i'm like what's this and he's like um there's all of the samples that are in the case for sale are in these boxes there's about three to five out of each deck uh, samples and you can look at them. I'm like, awesome. So I go, there's a fly on my phone. Ugh. Anyway, so I, I'm like sitting there after I eat and I'm looking at all of them and I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to get any. And there was three that stood out to me. And then I'm still going through the last little bit of it. And then there's these three cards that came out of an oracle that called Seeker Oracle. And I always call myself a light seeker, um, a truth seeker. Absolutely. And the colors and the art just blew up in my face in the best way possible. And that branch outside with leaves on it looks like a freaking unicorn. I will take a picture after this. It literally looks like a unicorn. Anyway, amazing. It even has like the eye. Ow, that is so cool. Well, at least it's not the clouds and it's going to change and I can't get a picture. I'll get a picture after this. Anyway, so I'm like, I got to get this one. And so um, I go and tell them, I'm like, I need you to find this deck in there because um, I don't see it. And uh, we were looking through them and we're like, oh, there it is. There it is. And they pull it out and they hand it to me. And I look at the front of the box and I cannot believe it. My favorite animal absolute favorite animal is a white tiger and it's a freaking white tiger and it didn't show that on the back of the cards or on the cards at all which i'll show you because we're going to open it and so i'm like well that's perfect um absolutely perfect i wore this uh leopard or cheetah printed shirt today and um so I got it and I was super excited. I can't wait to share it with you guys. So let's do this. So here's the back of it. Let me show you a few of the cards. And it's by, uh, it's called Seeker Oracle by Ray, Ravin, Ray, Raven, Raven. I think that's beautiful. Phelan, Phelan, Raven Phelan. And so let's open it. Oh, let me read the back. A seeker suspects there is something more in the quiet of sunrise, the song of night, and the overlapping folds of our present and our beyond in our world. They are curious not just for who they are, but for who they can become. The seeker finds wisdom in the wonderful, possibility in the peculiar, and pressure, or <laughs> treasure in the strange and the mundane. They recognize themselves in the mirror of time, place, and creature, and for them, the accrual of knowledge is a consistent consequence of every experience. Seeker Oracle is for the inquisitive the questioning which I always say question everything and I always have questioned everything my entire life okay and those ready not just for greener pastures but for forsaken forests overlooked woodlands and technic colored timberland your 55 fantastical companions will walk you with you share their insight and nudge your for you further along your exquisite journey of discovery seek and discover yourself through the marvel majesty and magic of raven Philon. 
So let's get this sucker open. And I've got my new signs back here by Mystic Brady that she made. Awaken Intuitives Tarot. Awaken Intuitives Tarot with Natalie, which I absolutely love them. Okay. All right, here we go. All right. Ooh, that creamish yellow color is so pretty. All right, there's the book. All right, here we go. Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find it. Knock and the door will be open. Look how beautiful. Oh my gosh, a king bee. And of course it tells you all about the card. Cause and effect. I'm, I can't wait. Here and now. I can't wait to show you the cards and I can't wait to look at more of the cards. Not so black and white. Fly, black and white, white tiger. Process and absorb. Oh, I'm so happy. The importance of sleep. I am so happy. Okay, all right. After this, we are gonna pull us a general message, okay? I do have some positive music playing in the background, which I do not own the rights to. So this was another thing what I liked about the cards is that they weren't super big. Oh boy, here we go. This is the back of all of them, right? Okay. Oh gosh, here we go. A choice to make. Look at the colors. A king bee. Oh, I love them. A queen bee. I love that queen bee. Advice from a cat. <laughs> no way. Are you kidding me? Uh, an unfair judgment. The artwork, the size, the card stock, which I love. Um, everything about it. Balance your energy. Look. Oh my gosh. Oh. <sighs> Be a curious creature. Look how cool that is. Be neutral with the third eye. Wow. Be of service. Oh, it's got the divine mother. Oh. Being bullheaded, question mark. Blinded by bias. Wow. These are insane cause and effect. Look at her third eye. I can't believe the colors. Choose love. Connection is necessary. Oh my gosh. Enjoy the moment. Oh, I can't believe these. Expand your universe. These are insanely credible. Empress Gratitude. These are just so cool. Grow together. Oh. Okay. I will post or at, attach this photo to the video after as well. I'll take a picture of those leaves that look like a unicorn. Last night, I sat down on my couch and I was watching Ancient Aliens. I'm obsessed with the Ancient Aliens. I've seen almost every single episode. But anyway, um, and I look out the window and I have the perfect view of the moon. And it was a crescent moon exactly like that. Exactly like that. Have faith. Wow. Heed the vibes. Oh, Scorpio season. Here and now. Hush, listen. These are so freaking amazing. Illus illusory obstacles. The colors, I am speechless. It is time and all of the artwork. I don't, I haven't seen a deck like this yet. Know your labels. Ooh. Knowledge is power. 
I can't wait to see what general message we all get. Leap of fortune. Oh. Life's a juggle. Ooh, this one's interesting. Look to the future. This one is so freaking cool. Love your inner child. This is the cutest freaking thing I've ever seen. That is the cutest thing I've ever freaking seen. Oh, on a card. Made for motion. Oh, I love this. Hey, look at that. An eclipse. We're going to have a full blood moon on November 8th with a total lunar eclipse. Okay, I'm gonna do reading for that for each zodiac sun sign. Name the thing. Look how amazing that is. It's so freaking detailed. It's crazy. Not so black and white. One faithful friend. Oh. Open your mind. Oh, this is bad to the bone. Oh. Process and absorb. That was one of the cards I seen in the sample cards. Raise them up. Reminds me of being a mother for my children. Reap what you sow. That's freaking badass. I love it. Oh my gosh. Uh, respond with grace. It's got some Celtic stuff too. Which one of the decks um, that I was pick, was had to maybe pick out or get was called the Celtic Tree Oracle. Beautiful. See the patterns. But I love this one better. <laughs> Seek inspiration. Ah. Uh, just amazing. Set it free. The owl. Oh, interceptor with like the feathers. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Shameless sensuality. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's crazy. Amazing. Stand up and fight. Ooh. That's freaking cool. She's a warrior woman. Tell your story. Oh. Wow. Um, the importance of sleep. These are so freaking beautiful, you guys. The key to wisdom. Oh, I love this too. It's like a phoenix slash owl with the antlers. That is a trip. The seeker's journey. Yes. Yes. Wow. Time to rise. Maybe that's the Phoenix right there. Right. Trust in science. Ooh. And uh, there's books and it reminds me of alchemy as well. That's interesting. Um, underserving villains. We're almost there. An orthodox approach. Wow, that's beautiful. Weave your reality. I've been hearing the word spider a lot, and it has nothing to do with uh, Halloween. What do you seek? And it's actually the white tiger. Oh my god. Oh. I'm getting that tattooed on me. <laughs> I'm doing it. Your path alone. And it's like a little bee. Okay. You guys. Amazing. I'm so in love. Let's pull us a general message. Yeah. Sunlight. That's okay. I've been craving the sunshine because it's been cooling off. 
Okay, let's get us a general message. Oh, I love this. Okay, let me see if I can show you the card stock a little bit better. That's good. That's a really good card stock. And the size of it's amazing. Can we get a general message, please, Divine? For all who's watching. That's it right there. Cause and effect. And it has a sun. Okay. It's got like two candles on each side of her. A tree. Let's find that. Cause and effect. Oh. Okay, good. It is in alphabetical order. Okay, here we go. Look at this imagery and the colors and everything. For every action, there is an equivalent reaction. Every cause results in effect. The cause is what makes an event happen. The effect is the result of the cause. This is not a new age concept. It is science. For example, a novice gardener spends hours creating a garden bed. They prepare the soil with care and then plant the seedlings they have purchased. They water them and after reading the instructions, they fertilize the plants to keep them well nourished. Within a couple of weeks, they have a beautiful garden full of thriving plants and blooms. What if the novice gardener made different choices? What if they did not prepare the soil? What if they did not water the plants? What if they didn't read the instructions on the fertilizer, a packaging, and use it too much? The result would be that most of the seedlings die and those that remain do not thrive. As a consequence of their actions, they have little to show for their investment. Our actions yield a reward and consequence to a greater or lesser degree, depending on the choices we make and how we act upon them. Consider when something random occurs for no apparent reason. Someone suggests that this proves the concept of cause and effect is flawed. But our knowledge is limited. Even the greatest scientists do not know everything. As our knowledge expands, facts and theories evolve. With that in mind, just because we do not see a cause does not mean there isn't one. The relationship between cause and effect in the random and inexplic inexplicable is just more complicated and less apparent. Everything happens for a reason. So be thoughtful when making decisions and determining your direction. Weigh the pros and cons. Be aware that everything you do will affect your future. And that includes words, thoughts, and beliefs. I think, uh, right? So like if you have enough thoughts of the same thing over and over again, it, it kind of, it can turn into an actual belief, whether it's good or bad. So um, belief for me is super important. Um, thoughts are the first step. But for me, the belief is very important, okay? So it's, it's how we speak and our thoughts, um, whether they're positive or negative. So I think that's really important, you guys, especially right now. We're coming up on a full blood moon, total lunar eclipse in a Mars retrograde in Gemini. Mars war, drama, arguing, fighting, um, battle in Gemini with, with communication, transportation journeys, and technology. So um, we're going to do a reading on that, okay? So I hope you enjoyed. I am so happy about this deck. It's so amazing. I'll take some pictures and attach those at the end as well. And um, thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you want to. And I hope this message resonates with you. And I hope to see you guys in the next video or reading. Okay? Love you guys so much. Bye.